Welcome to the last module for the Foundations of Science course at Michigan State University. In this module, we will see the culmination of many of the concepts that we have covered. The two subdisciplines we will be working with are ecology and evolution, because they epitomize our two motifs in this class, energy and matter. Ecology is interested at looking at how different forms of life interact with members of their own species, how they interact with other species, and how those communities of species interact with their non-living environment. One of the central concepts to these interactions is how energy is captured from the sunlight by plants, stored in chemical bonds in plants and animals, and then used for mechanical energy such as the kinetic energy needed for running, eating, and mating. These relationships between who eats whom can create complex systems in nature. Interestingly, when you look at ecological relationships over long periods of time, you start to get into evolutionary processes. In chemistry, we looked at how the form of matter helps to determine its function, and in many ways this is mirrored in the outcomes of evolution. We'll see how biological form determines its function and how that form changes over time based on natural processes, much like the movement of matter is determined by natural processes, such as buoyancy. The narrative of energy and matter that we have followed over this course could have been woven in many different ways. For instance, there are multiple types of energy that we did not discuss. For example, electrical, magnetic, sound, and nuclear and an almost limitless number of concepts about how matter changes and interacts with different conditions. For example, surface area to volume ratios, countercurrent flows, and phases of matter. The more you learn about energy and matter, the more it can reinforce the science foundation you've been building over the previous weeks, and the more it can serve as a tool to use with your critical thinking skills to improve your decision making. So let's get started and put this all together.